tonight only on seven. A Detroit mother is outraged over how an argument at a basketball court ended with her 13 year old son being shot. It happened Sunday at a school on Puritan and Green Lawn. Seven Action News reporter Simon Jaquette shows us what led to it all and who police believe pulled the trigger. A day after he was shot in the ankle, a 13 year old boy is recovering from surgery here at Sinai Grace Hospital as police continue to search for those responsible. He appears to be stable right now. He's feeling you know, a lot of pain, but we're monitoring the pain. Um, he's a bit shaking us about it. Speaking to us by phone from a hospital room, Shay Hill tells us her 13 year old son, Kyle Tate, is now recovering from surgery. The boy was struck with a bullet in the ankle Sunday at 6 p.m following a fight at this school basketball court at Puritan and Greenlawn. Shea says her son simply walked up to the crowd to see what was happening when someone fired at least six shots as retaliation for that fight. There was a girl, how I'm hearing it, she had called her big brother or cousin, whoever. Um, she was in a fight and she had got hit in the face or something like another girl. I know it was two boys. And they just started shooting in the crowd. After a preliminary investigation, police tell us they are looking for two young men. One is a black male, six foot tall, with a blue, orange, and pink Nike jacket and an Afro hairstyle. The other is a black male, five foot eight, wearing a red and white jacket with blue jeans. So far, police haven't said if there's surveillance video from the school that might help in the case. For Kyle's mother, the ongoing violence in the city is a sign of a much larger problem. All of the children need more structure, more guidance. Definitely, God needs to be put back into the school for these children that's not getting it at home. If you can help police identify the person responsible for this shooting, do the right thing and call the police right away. From Detroit's West Side, Simon Shaquette, 7 Action News.